somebody. There's an empress here. So we have the empress who's being set free from somebody's addiction or obsession. So somebody that is obsessed or addicted to some empress or their energy, um, there's an empress that's being set free from this. Somebody is addicted to you or obsessed with you. Um, getting heavy like stalker energy vibes. Something is moving. You could be moving away from this person or something is in motion that's going to set you free from this person. <clears throat> I'm hearing it's a long time waiting, a long time coming. So you could have been feeling like you've been trapped in a negative situation with somebody just obsessed, watching you, trying to communicate with you. Um, I hate to say it, there's an emperor here in the reverse, a tyrant energy, um, father, lover, husband, figure, tyrant. Um, so there's a masculine energy. Um, you know, they could have done some sort of... I hate going to spell work, but if they were into spell work, they could have done a love spell that backfired, causing them to become obsessed or addicted to you if they were trying to put that on you so that they could easily manipulate you or control you in some sort of way. Um, obviously, there is some sort of control issue here with the Eight of Swords trying to keep somebody bound or trapped, um, but that's over with. Um, something is coming to an end because something is in motion. Something is moving forward, whether they like it or not. This masculine was trying to keep a big truth hidden with the Ace of Swords, so they could have told a big lie about you as a control tactic or a control method, where they lied to you, so they could have lied to you or about you, or they were trying to keep some major truth hidden, and this could have to do with your gifts, your talents. <clears throat> you could be truly talented and gifted with the Eight of Pentacles. It could be paying off for you financially, so you may benefit um, financially. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, you could own your own business, something like that. Or you're just really good at what you do. Um, you don't have to do something in the spiritual world and make money off of it to be truly gifted or talented. But whatever you do, it brings you you know, it brings something in financially for you, and that is bringing balance to a situation. So if this person was addicted to making you look like you were a piece of shit, you were a piece of crap, you know, um, trying to make you look like something you weren't, those illusions have fallen away because your gifts and talents have prove to the world it's like your hard work has paid off it's bringing balance to a situation and something is moving you're moving forward you're not stuck anymore which is good news because some of you have been trapped or stuck dealing with these karmic toxic relationships or exes we have the page of cups here but the daydreaming thinking so you could just be daydreaming thinking manifesting um, balance. So you've been thinking about balance. You've been um, putting those intentions out into the universe. You could be praying a lot. You are obsessed with balance. You yourself, I don't want to call it an obsession, but you are. It's like, it's almost like a desperation for being set free from this because someone has tried to keep you trapped in such a horrible situation for such a long time that you daydream about it you manifest you're thinking about your future what it could be and whatever you've been doing it's going to pay off for you because something is in motion you are moving forward you are being set free from this so however it is you manifest it has something to do with your thoughts your thinking you projecting your dreams your desires and staying on the right side of the wheel of fortune and it's paying off for you They don't have control over you, not that they ever did, but they may have been keeping you trapped mentally. You may have been trapped in a mental prison as well, thinking that um, somebody had control over your life. You could also have somebody that is thinking about you or daydreaming about a future with you. We have the King of Wands here, someone who is a natural born leader, someone who's caring, compassionate, and they want to come towards you and make you a love offer. So after you are set free or... Um, somebody may have to set you free because you're moving forward. You could be moving into a new relationship. Um, or this is just going to happen sometime after this situation ends or you being set free. We have the Ace of Wands. Somebody tried to steal something from you or take something from you, your gift, um, or a gift that was owed to you. Or they took something of value. Somebody took something of value. Um, and it could have also been that somebody tried to take your future relationship away from you somebody could have tried to take your confidence away how you look at yourself your self-esteem um because they didn't want you to be able to move forward in a new relationship they wanted to keep you stuck so that they could just 
stay with you mentally, physically, emotionally, whenever they felt like it. But it looks like there's a King of Wands here that wants to bring you a solid love offer. And so um, the person, this emperor, this tyrant in the reverse that thought they were taking something from you, they didn't take anything from you. They were under an illusion that they created themselves, that they had the ability to take something from you. But you're still getting this love offer, and it's a solid offer from a real emperor because the cycle is over it's over the cycle with that tyrant is over and you have a new emperor that wants to be in your life yeah you've been working really hard to get into this new cycle you know this is a challenge for um you know that emperor in the reverse that was doing such hard work on you because your hard work is paying off and you're moving into this new cycle whether anyone else likes it or not and it's long overdue I told you someone worked really hard to keep you stuck and stagnant because they're not respectable they're not held in high honor and you know this about them but they still somehow had a hold on you or some sort of cord that they were trying to keep connected to you by affecting your finances and keep you juggling financially so that um okay so this emperor in reverse thought that if you were low on finances or in poverty, um, you would feel bad about yourself, it would affect your confidence, and people wouldn't look at you or wouldn't want to be with you, because that is the kind of insecurities that this emperor in reverse holds for themselves. So, of course, you know, in true narcissist form or whatever, or anyone with some sort of um, childhood wounds they need to heal, they projected their own insecurities onto you or as if they were accurate or true for you. So they thought if you were juggling finances, you would, you know, um, it would put an end to you, okay? And the challenge is, is it did not put an end to you. Um, this is an end to juggling your finances. So if you were struggling financially for a while, that cycle is over along with whatever um, ties this person had to you. So the uh, um, season of lack and not moving and being stuck, that's over. Now, this is a collective, so every single person is not on the same timeline, so whenever this happens for whoever this message is for, um, you're going to be really appreciative, because there was a high priestess here in the reverse that was trying to stop you, so they were doing, they were doing magic, they were a practitioner of some sort, and they were doing, they were legitimately doing spell work to keep you stuck, and so they could have been doing beauty magic or something like that to affect you or how you see yourself. Like if you look in the mirror, maybe you've been disgusted with yourself lately, or maybe they want you to see something that isn't there. Um, so like, say if you took a picture of yourself now, like if you went and looked in the mirror, um, you might think bad about yourself. Like, oh, I look so run down. I look so ragged, whatever. And then two months from now, you look at that picture and you're like, damn, I looked really good. What the fuck was I thinking? You know what I'm saying? Like they were trying to affect how you saw yourself and how others saw you and they were legitimately creating these illusions with magic or some sort of spells and all that stuff is over like any spell work that they've done on you it's been broken and um unfortunately for them it's being sent back to them and everything that they tried to take from you um, they're going to end up with a gold digger energy. They were secretly dealing with a gold digger energy as well. They were trying to keep it hidden. And so all the crazy stuff that they put you through, they've attracted themselves. So everything that they tried to take for, from you, like finances, keep you broke, stuck. Um, ironically, they ended up with a gold digger that wants to take their money. So, I mean, I don't want to laugh, but that's just kind of... Um, how karma works yeah because of this there's a lot of conflict within a group of people so for this emperor in reverse this high priestess in the reverse the only thing they did was cause trouble for themselves really because their spell work backfired and the queen of pentacles that they were dealing with the skull digger energy um is um <laughs> is keeping them so busy that they <laughs> There's a whole group at each other's throats because of what this practitioner has done. Oh. Yeah, this person was very evil. They were very dark, so they were definitely doing dark magic. The star in the reverse right after the high priestess in the reverse. This is somebody who was using dark magic, dark spell work, calling upon dark deities. And, um... 
you know, even if you think you know what you're doing, you better be careful because, like I've said, I don't know how many times when you send stuff out, if you send it to somebody who doesn't deserve it, what do you think is going to happen to you? People better make sure that somebody deserves some shit if they're going to be dabbling in stuff. That's all I'm going to say. This person intentionally caused heavy burdens for you. They wanted you to struggle. They didn't want you to be able to persevere. They sure as hell didn't think you'd be able to persevere. They tried to send you addictions and obsessions, which is why they became addicted and obsessed with you. And also, among other addictions and obsessions that they may suffer from, including drugs, alcohol, sex. Um, but they tried to send addictions to you to make you feel low about yourself. And this could even have to do with some sort of sexual energy as well. Like, they wanted you to feel um, like your self-worth was wrapped up in um, having sex with other people. So maybe if you've been celibate or something... Um, that is another way that that could have broken the spell or broken some sort of spell work because they were trying to attach something to some sort of sexual energy with addiction and obsession. And they wanted you to feel like you had to have sex with people or even maybe multiple people because they could have spun the narrative about you that you were a whore, prostitute, you know, um, you know, player, whatever, if you're a man or woman, flip the rules as needed. But they, they wanted other people to view you as this trashy, skanky person. And so they wanted to send those addictions to you so that you only saw value in yourself if you were sleeping with other people. But, um, you know, fortunately for you, you thought more highly of yourself than that. And you have already ascended to a level that that's just not how, you know, you have more self-esteem than people give you credit for. Um, I don't care if you lounge around in pajamas like all week long. Um, you know, when you get home, maybe you want to be comfortable and you sit around in your pajamas, whatever. That has nothing to do with your self-worth or your value. Um, you know, that's your business. But somebody mistook you and misread you and was doing spell work according to their twisted perceptions of you and how they would value you. Um, so they put their own values on you as if they were your own. And that is another reason that this spell work has backfired because they put their own, um, emotions and feelings into this, their own intent. And it had nothing to do with you. I don't know too much about doing spell work on other people, but I do know, um, you know, the intention is a very big, important aspect of things. And, um, shit, I lost what I was going to say with that. So maybe I'm not supposed to say that part. So, okay, we're going to move on. Um, I, I had something that, uh, it was like a, a very, you know, it was very, um, connected to the spell work and stuff, but, um, I guess I was not supposed to say that. So we're going to move on. <clears throat> so someone is scrambling here with an item on someone is scrambling to do something somebody may be scrambling towards you to make you this love offer maybe if you've been single for a while they may feel like they're missing out on the opportunity to do something here um but we have someone was at a crossroads someone was at a stalemate someone had a decision to make and um they chose to deal with um, a Queen of Cups, or they enlisted the help of a Queen of Cups who was emotionally unbalanced themselves. So we have a Dark High Priestess energy, and it could be the Emperor too, or this Emperor enlisted the help of this jealous feminine who was doing the spell work. So both of them screwed themselves. If this Emperor had a jealous ass female putting their intentions and their stuff on you, all for money so somebody did something for money there was a oh my god all right you get a clean slate you get a clean start okay you, you're gonna be good but i try to keep these cards in the order that's why i went ahead and said that that they come out but this jealous ass queen of cups did something only for money because they were concerned about money and so they could have agreed to do some sort of spell work for this emperor on behalf of them so they are both connected and bonded to whatever spell work was being done. And like I've said, the intention is always important when it comes to spell work, right? So this own person's intentions got in the way. Both of these people's intentions got in the way of what they were trying to do. And I'm just going to leave it at that.
you're going to get a message that something is over, something is being laid to rest, it's over. So you're going to get some sort of message about this clean slate, this new start, this new beginning, that someone's just, they're done, um, something has moved on. You could also be getting a message that somebody has passed away if they were doing death magic on you as well. Um, that could have backfired. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this stuff is not something you'd be playing around with, and not everyone should be picking up a deck of cards either. Um, you know, with tarot cards, you have to really be careful with what you dabble in. You really truly have to know what you're doing, or at least be gifted in it, or, you know, and know how to protect yourself, because, um, someone could also be passing away. They did not have a positive outcome, and you're going to receive some sort of communication information here quickly. There's some swift action or communication coming in here with a message, um, and it could be that either someone is laying something to rest, someone doesn't want to fight with you anymore, or you don't have to worry about them anymore, and or, okay, I'm saying and or, because the message could be that someone passed away, and that is the reason. So, um, it may be choice, it may not be by choice, but someone could be passing away because they refuse to stop and balance has to be restored, okay? And the only way to stop this person, um, the spiritual realm, um, you know, they took, they took care of it. Because if you are in the upright, um, if you are an upright practitioner or light worker, whatever it is you do, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. To each their own, you know, just stay on the right side of shit. That's all I'm going to caution you to do. Just stay on the right side of things. Just please, it's to your own benefit, um, to just not go around attacking people, and just be careful of who you're working with and what you're calling on, and, um, just, just be careful, because I feel like if someone doesn't have a positive outcome, because the outcome is going to be that they're dead, and someone's going to be getting a message about this, because you have a victory, this is a yes for you, yeah, regardless of if this is, um, you know, them waving the white flag and, and giving up on something and just moving on with their life, or this is an actual death, it is going to bring a victory for you. This is yes. You know, um, you've been waiting a long time for some sort of peace, you know, just to get away from all this stuff, especially if people were doing legit spell work against you. Excuse me. That could be because you are the star. You really do have divine protection, and you really are a high priestess in the upright here. And somebody was only doing something because they were worried about their financial stability. Someone was only doing something for money, not because they were gifted to do it or that they should have been doing it. So someone did something, and they had no business doing it. And I really urge and caution you to just be careful. Just because you read a book about something doesn't mean you're qualified, okay? You really do need to be careful. Because there's a gold digger energy, king of pentacles here, that only cared about money and resources. And they were guilty of doing something. That's why they don't get a clean slate. They were guilty of playing the fool. They literally played into someone's hand. Whatever it is they did with some sort of lie, with some sort of communication, somebody was a fool because they were actually guilty of something. So someone went and utilized the help of a practitioner, okay? This masculine energy was worried about finances as well, okay, right? They were worried about controlling your finances, your financial stability. They were doing, they wanted someone to do spell work on your finances, right? So they lied, about you being guilty when they were actually the guilty party and that is why they were they were the fool in the reverse they do not get a clean slate because this and it it could be this person that is going to be passing away i don't know if the practitioner themselves the feminine energy i don't know if they're going to pass away because i'm getting the energy that it could be this masculine that's going to um, and there's some reflection going on with the hangman energy. Something is frozen or, you know, there's a pause. Something is being held up for a moment. <clears throat> I 
So someone is contemplating a decision. So there's a pause here because a decision is being made. There's a decision that's being contemplated regarding a high priestess. So there's a decision. There's a, there's somebody who's making a decision. And so there's a, that and it could be this king of wands here. So this king of wands um, could be taking a moment to pause and reflect because if they do come towards this empress um, or this high priestess, they have to do it the right way. Um, but they're deciding. A decision has been made. Um, it just has not been enacted yet. So ultimately, the decision is going to be made to take some sort of action. But they're taking a moment before they act. They haven't acted. So even though you may receive some sort of swift communication about the end to some somebody's obsession or illusions surrounding you, well, you may receive some sort of quick communication regarding that aspect of it, the, the tyrant and the reverse, the, the masculine and the reverse. This other person, the king of wands, um, in the upright, you know, they're a natural born leader. They think things through before they do something. So they are really trying to do something the right way, and, and they're not moving hastily. They're, they're really not, which may be uncharacteristic of them, but somebody has placed themselves under judgment here. Somebody has brought judgment upon themselves. That's because they lied. With a page of swords, they told a lie because they lied. So someone's under judgment because they lied. So that could be why some spell works backfiring or why something is not going in their favor because they lied to themselves. They lied to practitioners. They lied to probably anyone who would listen. And some spell work was done. Some legit spell work from a high priestess in the reverse, a practitioner, somebody who was on the dark side of things. And someone is suffering from their, that is the reason they are addicted and obsessed. So... Like I said, someone is under judgment with their own obsessions and addictions because of the lies they told. The back, I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it's all about the intention here. Everything that they sent out to the real high priestess, to the star, the, the, the one who has divine protection, that got sent back. All those bad intentions, everything that they wanted this person to see about themselves, all these misconceptions, it went back. I'm hearing with a vengeance. And so someone is really suffering to the point where it could take them out of this world, literally, somehow. God, I told... Oh, I... Death. Someone is going to die thinking about you. She got heavy real fast. Someone's last thoughts are going to be of you. The Queen of Swords. Wow. They could have lost a significant amount of money because of this lie. The Ten of Pentacles, they lost their own financial security for their own family. They, they don't have the ability to Possibly, I mean, this person just lost a lot of money. They lost everything. And their last thoughts are going to be of the Queen of Swords. Because you're not, you're not interested. It doesn't matter how obsessed and addicted this person is. They hurt you bad. And they created all this spell work against you. And when you love someone, you just, you just don't do spell work on them like this. They wanted you to lose your... And... The thing is, is their lies could have costed you to lose your financial security and your your ability to support your family, and they can't live with what they've done. When this when this spell's broken and the illusion's broken, when this happens, they're going to be tormented so heavily with the realization of what they've done. I mean, it, this energy just took a huge. It just it got real heavy. They they are not going to be able to face the reality of what they did to you. Okay. And it's ultimately going to lead to their literal death. 
Wow. Wow, this got real heavy. And, yep, because they hurt you. All for recognition, because they wanted some sort of clout chasing or recognition. They didn't want anyone to see you as a treasure or a trophy. And they didn't see you as a trophy. They didn't want you to be recognized. I mean, they hurt you. And they... They were definitely being controlled by whatever spirits or deities they sent out. Even if the emperor themselves didn't send it out, they worked with this practitioner. They are both bound to this spell work. And it's ultimately going to kill at least this person. Um, this masculine's going to pass away. It's a masculine that's going to pass for sure. The practitioner may know enough somehow they but um you know if, if they did have any gifts i mean whatever they did they didn't really know what they were doing um they're gonna lose whatever gift they had if they had any to begin with um the practitioner has their own set of bullshit i'm not even gonna yeah, they, that's on them they have to, to pay spiritually and karmically for the consequences of what they did but this masculine has no protection spiritually i don't give a sh i'm no offense i mean i you can say Jesus all you want. It's not going to save this person. Um, they may not even believe in God. Um, and if they do, like the damage has been done, the consequences, like you broke natural laws, spiritual laws, um, you know, like if somebody did somebody real, real dirty. And man, 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 they were competing with you. Or they put you in a competition. So it could have even been the person that was competing against you, whether you knew it or not. That was the dark practitioner. That's come out quite a few times. Somebody had you in a competition. And um, it's like they wanted you to compete with someone to find out who was the real person or the real deal. Like they were so blinded. They were such and under such illusion but the seeds that you've planted are growing they're manifesting so obviously you are the one who's in the upright here um because whatever seeds you planted they're growing they're manifesting for you because you do things the right way and you have respect not only for people you have respect for spirits for deities you don't just call on shit because you know better and you know the consequences of doing so and what else can come through if you do... I don't want to get into that, man. But you knew better. You know better, you do better. That's why you're abundant and you're manifesting and something is coming in for you. This is just really bad for somebody else, though. Like, really, really bad. Like, seriously. The person that they had you in competition with... They're broke. They're going to go broke. They, they're, they're not going to have any money. Like I said, if they were trying to use their gifts to make money, um, they, they're going to take a huge financial hit. They're going to possibly have to work multiple jobs. Um, uh, they're going to be in the poorhouse like they wanted for you. Okay, um, They didn't want you to have money. They wanted to take everything from you, especially financially. Um, there's a big financial aspect to all of this. That That's one way they really wanted to hit you hard on your finances. And, um, but they were also doing all this other stuff, but they, they went really hard after your finances because that was once again, how they perceive confidence and self-esteem. That's not how you view it. So it was easier for this, everything to attach back to them and not you because there was nothing to attach to because you don't have those issues. The deities, whatever spirits they called upon, they called upon these specific things for their targeted intention. And they couldn't attach to you because you don't have those issues. You know that song, we've got issues, or I've got issues, you got issues. Yeah, but y'all have different issues. And they called upon these very specific things to attack you when you don't have issues with those things that is theirs that's 
that's why it's going to hit them so hard because it's easy for them to attach to them. That's why they're the ones that are suffering and not you. There's something for them to attach to because this is low vibrational shit, okay? <sighs> I know enough to know better because they're weak. They're, they were easily tempted by the low-hanging fruit, the person that was in competition with you, and this person. They tried to weaken you and come to find out they were the ones that were weak and that's their own undoing i mean it just is it is what it is oh okay so these came out sideways someone's getting the message they're in despair i told you they're waking up they're and they're seeing things they're going to be seeing things clearly there's going to be a message or something. It's going to snap them out of this. It's going to awaken them. Um, and, and it's because they're realizing that you have a treasure or you're getting a treasure and you have a positive outcome. So they know what they did was wrong. They know this is coming back to them. And the spell's broken and it's, it's going to be broken. They're going to be in despair once they find out what you have coming in for you and your movement forward and the fact that someone actually does admire you i know the lighting sucks but i really don't have shit under my nails it's just the way they look <laughs> but, um my nails are actually clean but um when they find out that you have a positive outcome, that you are a treasure, that you do have people that admire you, especially, you know, a king of wands that wants to come towards you, and that balance is being restored, this is the end-all, be-all. This is um, going to be their undoing, which is, you know, it's their own undoing. They brought this on themselves. But when all this comes out, when they realize all this... Um, they're not going to be able to handle it mentally and emotionally. All, like I said, the intent, everything that they they sent towards you and the spell work they did on you, it had nothing to do with you. It was their own shit they were sending out, and that's why it couldn't attach to you. And when you did your return to sender or you even spoke it, maybe you could just say in the name of Jesus, and you actually had the power of Jesus behind you. Whatever you said, whatever you did, you, you it went back. And when it went back, and it would have... And to be honest, even if you didn't do anything, it went back on its own. You didn't even have to say anything because you are divinely protected because you already did your shadow work. You already healed. And like I said, these things had nothing to attach to when they came for you. When you do spell work, you work with specific deities, entities for specific reasons. Okay. And this is kind of what I was going to say earlier. So I guess it's only fitting that I say it now. Okay. You know, like at the end here, but um, when you do certain spell work and you send out specific entities, they are, there's a reason why you call on specific ones, right? And when you call on them and you send them to someone and they um, have no connection to whatever you sent them for, they're going to come back to you. And if you have those things that you sent them after, they're going to attach to you and you're going to drive yourself mad. You're, you're going to, be, they could be hearing voices. Um, if they're not, they're going to be, they're going to be seeing things. Um, it, it's like a full psychotic breakdown, man. I mean, this is, this is bad, 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 bad. Like someone is just going to, it's bad. It's bad, 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 bad. They want to tell you that they didn't try to set you up. And honestly... <sighs> the reason they're saying that... Is... In all fairness... They're claiming that because they sent the practitioner in after you. They didn't do it themselves. So because they didn't do it themselves... They feel as if they didn't try to set you up. But they did. I mean, they did. But they want to tell you that they didn't, but they did. Just because they weren't the ones that were actually doing the magic doesn't mean they didn't... They didn't play the role. 
they they sent this stuff to a specific person and with intention and they lied to someone to get them to do this work somebody was trying to eavesdrop or somebody was eavesdropping like I said somebody could be hearing things someone is hearing things that are not really there um this is really weird to explain like the the energy I'm getting is like okay so say say someone records something okay like say they have a, a recording device and they're listening to something audibly they thought they heard something but they they didn't actually hear it or they heard something but it wasn't there it's like someone heard what it's like their mind tricked them and they heard something that either wasn't there or they i don't know it's like it's distorted audible like i don't know how to explain it that's just the energy like that's just what's coming through like somebody was trying to eavesdrop they they heard something that was not the truth so um whatever stuff they were working with deities entities spirits whatever i don't know somebody i don't want to say somebody something um messed with their head like they didn't hear something that they thought they heard i, I don't know or they heard something that wasn't really there like they they're already in this I feel like they're already in this psychotic break. You know, they were already being controlled by spirits. They lied about you, okay? So, someone lied about you because of something they thought they heard or something they saw or something. Like, there was a, a miscommunication here, but it was their own delusions that were sent to them. Like, they were under a delusion when they thought they heard something or discovered something or, I don't know. You blocked them. I blocked you. You blocked me. So they did this after you blocked them. They were trying to gain access. They could have even been astral projecting. And something was not as they saw it. Something was not as it appeared. And it was their own delusions that were being sent to them. Like whatever spirit, deity they called upon was meant to like hurt you. Like in a bad way. Um... And you just don't play with that stuff because, I mean, it literally drove this person crazy. You will miraculously recover. You upped your spiritual protection. So you you upped your protection even though you didn't really need some protection. They must have upped the ante or they kept doing something over and over again. So if something wasn't working, they were under a, an illusion and they kept doing something. So you um, could have felt something energetically, so you upped your spiritual protection, right? And you are going to recover because you were protected all along, but you did some other things. Um, we're not going to get into how you protect yourself. That's, you know, everyone's different. But whatever you did, you upped your spiritual protection, and that is why you're going to miraculously recover. Um, even though you had some protection, whatever effects you did heal, you know, that um, did hit, you're going to recover fully from it. Um, so maybe you gained like 10 or 20 pounds or something. Obviously, you're going to be able to lose it. No problem. Like this is minor stuff. So whatever did hit you, it, it's really not anything that's going to be life altering for you. But for them, it, it is literally life altering. They did something in the last three to six months. They lost control. They snapped. They had a group of people involved call you or talk to you, multitasking. So they had a group of people that were calling you, multitasking, trying to gain information, um, trying to figure out where to hit you, where it hurt. I, I mean, you know, they had a network of people that were trying to figure out what else they should send your way to fuck up your shit. That's why I said they kept doing something over and over again. And they did different things. Multitasking. Um, you know, they did your confidence, your money, beauty spells. Um, just everything. Like. Uh, 
what's holding you back. So what's holding somebody back is they were not telling the truth. They lied. They want you to think that they're telling the truth, but they lied. That's what's holding them back. That's why they can't recover. That's why they're in big trouble here. And there's an investigation that's involved. They could know there's an investigation or they could be fearful about an investigation because along with attacking you on the spiritual realm, they were doing some things possibly in the 3D and the here and now in the physical world um, that has put them under investigation. So they're, they're in trouble, like big trouble because, you know, there are good cops, good law officials that are being getting involved. They used your photo, looking at your photo, they had a photo of you, um, and they did some sort of spell work on that because they were desperate, so someone's desperate, they were desperate, so they they were using picture magic or something like that, um, distortion, like picture distortion, dysmorphia, they wanted you to, to dysmorphia, like I'm just getting dysmorphia, um, so this could be how you see yourself or how others see you, like body dysmorphia, they... Uh, You're going to be receiving some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance, and that's going to allow you to move on, move forward. Um, which is another way you're being set free. So if this person doesn't ultimately pass away, and for some of you they are, um, you're just going to be having the finances or the ability to move away from them physically, even if they don't physically pass away. But for some, they, they actually are going to have to pay the price with their lives. Fortunately or unfortunately, however you look at it, you know. There's a bold-faced liar here that wants to bury the hatchet. They lied about anything and everything. They want to bury the hatchet, but it's too little too late. And I know this reading's going a little longer, but, you know, I'll just... I'm almost done. They want to bury the hatchet because they... They're afraid. Because <laughs> they know they're going to kick the bucket, man. Because they jumped in with something with both feet, and they didn't expect the blowback. They underestimated you, your intentions, who you are, what you are, and they got themselves caught in the crossfire. They want to bury the hatchet because they got themselves caught up in something they can't escape from. Kick the bucket. Yeah, someone's going to be passing away. I mean, at least one person because of what they've done. Air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant. Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. It's really sad. And someone's holding a grudge. The burning question, going, go broke, go for broke. Someone went all in. They were they're holding a grudge on against you because they wanted you to be broke and they went broke doing this to you. I mean they went all in on this. They wanted you to be broke. The burning question why? They're holding a grudge because they wanted you broke. I told you they hit really hard on the finances. Like I feel like that was the first thing that they attacked was the finances. And then, um, you know, the rest. A Virgo could be significant. Aquarius, so a Virgo and Aquarius could be significant to somebody. Um, and there's something that's going to happen uh, Wednesday at noon regarding a Virgo and Aquarius, possibly. We don't have to be those signs, but it came out right after, so it could be significant um, specifically to those signs. You don't have to be, but someone brought themselves under judgment that flipped out on my lap. Um, someone's a jack of all trades, you know. Even if you're not you know, an expert in one area, you know enough. Someone is hearing rumors. 
um, about your gifts, talents. Maybe that's your multi-gifted, multi-talented Leo. Um, there could be a Leo that's hearing this about you, or you could be a Leo. That's a jack of all trades. Something significant about January. So there's something significant about January with a Leo and somebody hearing about some, you know, possibly that you're multi-talented. Um, and a Libra, um, you reap what you sow. So somebody has to reap what they sow. They brought themselves under judgment. Libra balance. So I have Libra and Leo in January. That's significant balance being restored. Before I close this out. <sighs> so someone is falling off, someone's going off the wall or falling off the wagon here. Someone who's young. So someone could be younger than you. Um they fell off the wagon, or you could be younger than this person. Um, I don't know, but there's someone here who's younger that's going off the wall, falling off the wagon. So, um, whoever you are, this could be um, someone that's younger than you. That could be the practitioner or something. Um, they didn't read between the lines. So, the feminine practitioner that was doing something could have been younger than whoever you are, or whoever, you know, who you are. Alright, person, place, or thing. The letter T could be significant. Hold on, Hirsch. Hold on. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hold on. And Tennessee could be significant. Hold on. Give me one second. E. Hold on, bud. Hold on. U. Hold on. L. Just a minute. I, um, someone could be a lieutenant, there could be a lieutenant getting involved in this with the investigation. Okay. There's a lieutenant that knows or is aware of the situation. A. C. So there's Lieutenant, um, someone is being watched, someone is watching someone, um, I hate to say it, but the person could be, the person being watched could even be a Lieutenant, someone could abuse their power or authority in a, you know, a law official rule. Okay, so I have T-N-E-U-L-I-I-K-A-C. I hope this helps. Have a good night.